welcome again to our fabulous showing with me and Brianna. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe in your quarantine. I know it's getting a little tired, but we're here to make you happy and to give you some light to this crazy, crazy, crazy time. So let me give you a little bit of background about us. If you don't know, uh, extraordinary events, we want to welcome you. Uh, Brianna Smith, she is a design rock star. My name is Vito Russo. I'm your wedding and event uh, master, design master. We love designing and we do so many amazing things here at Extraordinary Events. So Extraordinary Events is Philadelphia's premier source for wedding and event design. We're actually number, Philly's number one floral artistry and event production design company here in Philadelphia. We're actually located in Northern Liberties in a beautiful building called Billy Penn Studios. So here you'll actually find an amazing, luxurious, interactive showroom and design gallery uh, that we always invite our clients to and make everything really interactive and you actually have an amazing time doing hands-on-hand -hand design, which is absolutely incredible for all clients, all brides, all the industry, the whole night. We like to bring you the whole picture right in front of your eyes so you really know what you're going to be getting. And we actually like to involve you as well, so you could feel important, important and make sure that you're a part of this amazing, amazing design that we actually provide for all of our industry friends and clients. Uh, so we also have, so today, on our live video, we want to make sure that you guys have point in, just look on my Facebook or Extraordinary Events Facebook, uh, and make sure you make some comments. We want to get back to everybody. We're going to make this super fun. Uh, this is our live intuitive design show today with Brianna and I. We're going to give numerous tips and design tricks and educational material and, of course, the best fun commentary. That's where we need to laugh and make sure everybody has their fabulous glass of wine or cocktail at hand because this episode is going to be a wild farm ride. It's going to be held today at Brianna and her family's beautiful ranch. And we have so many, so many amazing design tricks that you could do at your home little things that you can keep yourself occupied using a lot of the blooming floral that's out there right now uh, and give you some really cool creative ideas that you could actually implement and just put a smile on your face and other people around you. So let's start, Bree. So what do we have on board for our first design today? Yeah, so today we're going to be focusing on floral crowns and anything kind of floral jewelry. I'm going to hit that a little bit. Um, so I wanted to start with something that is actually going to go on my dog, Ripley. And I know many of you are quarantined with your animals, so I thought it'd be fun to adorn not just my dog, but also my donkey today, Ronnie. So later in the show, yes. please stick around because my lovely miniature donkey that is now, I'm going to say he's almost 30 years old. Well, no, I guess I'm 30 years old. He's like 25 years old, probably. So he's very go. old. Yeah. <laughs> um, play he's an play. amazing, amazing animal. I mean, yeah, wait till, you, wait till you get to meet Ronnie. And we have a lot of other surprises in store today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. So the first thing that we're going to do today, or what I'm going to show you is, um, this is actually going to go on Ripley. And Ripley's really active. And so I want something that's going to be very sturdy for him. Yeah, so beautiful what I dog. Use, Such a good dog, Bray making noise right now too i don't know if you guys just heard him grumble <laughs> so what i use for this is oasis glue perfect it's great to use it holds really well and then i created a base for it and it's on this organza ribbon a number nine organza ribbon and i basically just glued leaves to the front and the back perfect of it just to give it a nice sturdy base yes and then once I add that, it dries super quick it's very, very adhesive, which is amazing. And I mean, that's how you make all of your, your uh, floral crowns. Anything you want to do with any design jewelry, Oasis Glue is probably one of the best glues out there because it's made for foliage and floral. So it keeps them safe, but it also keeps it very structured. Yeah, so I'm going to take some, we had these last week too in the tutorial. Um, we're going to do it again because they are our favorite here. And we got our hellebores, which are great. And they lay really flat, so they're really nice for a flower crown that you're going to glue things onto. They're perfect. Nice to bloom, like you said, nice and flat, and they hold up really well. Hellebores are absolutely gorgeous, and they're everywhere right now. Yeah. So I'm going to use my oasis glue. I did put some wax paper down because I think my um, parents would be very upset if I hurt their table. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit down on the actual uh, wax paper. Perfect. Love and I that. take my 
before. And I just dip it in the actual glue and stick it right on. Usually I hold it for a few seconds, but these go on really easy because the petals really grasp the glue, which is really nice. Yeah, and then you can make your own design pattern or implement different colors and do a little bit of color blocking at the same time. Just to, anything that you feel is more good for you, which is amazing. That's what design is all about. Again, actually, I made one of these for myself a few years ago um, when I was living in Oregon. And I did one for a photo shoot that we had there. And it turned out really nice. The same way I put it on a ribbon, put some like leaves on there. These are actually magnolia leaves that I have here. And then all I did was just glue some hellebores on because it was about the same time of year. And it really makes it pop. That's the thing I love about the hellebores. They just, they're, they're so beautiful. They really are. They're perfect for anything that we're doing right now. And you're going to see as I work yeah, on it. I love that already. Right. As you can see, nothing's falling off. See, I love that already. Really That's beautiful. Yeah, so this one I had half finished, and I'm just going to finish it off real quick. And I'm going to let that dry just so when we do actually put it on the dog, he doesn't rip it off immediately. Yes, and exactly. Yes, we all know the dogs can be a little tricky when you're doing this. But, listen, dogs are a weight of everybody's heart. And if you're close with your dog and they trust you, they're going to let you do it. I know mine would. One of my little, my little Snickers, little, got two little Dotsons. She will let you dress her up, put clothes on her, she lays on her back and just do what you want. It's absolutely incredible. And then Dory, Mother Dolphin, is just completely innocuous. We love her. She's a big cuddle bug, but she will not let anything go on her body <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, it's really hit or miss. It really is. It just definitely is. I've been doing photo shoots with Ripley, um, one of my parents' dogs, since he was a puppy. So he's pretty good at it. He will sit and stay for any flowers that he's adorned with, which is great. Hopefully, now that I say that, he will do that today, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I see a lot of people tagging in and watching, which is amazing. I want to give a huge shout out to Ashley. That's my mom. Hey, mom. I hope all is well. I'm so happy that you're signing in and checking us out. You love everything about this. Oh, yeah, check that out. Look how great. Great. That looks amazing. I love that. Alexis from the class, one of my really good friends, she signed in. Thanks, right, everybody. She actually said, uh, somebody wants you, oh my God, remember the dress that we made, Bree? A lot of people keep talking about the one we made with all the butterflies. I think one, maybe one of those oh, episodes. Yes. <laughs> if we have a four hour long episode, <laughs> we can do the dress. Yeah, that's a little bit time consuming. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, yes. Excellent. Well, hello, everybody. Okay. Everybody signing in. It's amazing. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and watching us. Let's see. Brie, that looks incredible. I love that. That's so pretty. So it's really simple, very easy to make. It's just made with glue right now. And I mean, I could even wear it as a headband here, or you could put it on your dog as a collar, as I just got a little bit of glue on my face. <laughs> and yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> I know, I know. People don't realize how when you come home with cuts and glue all over you. It's part of the, oh, part yeah. of the love of what we do. Definitely. <laughs> Excellent. What did you go so, for this next design? This is actually one of my favorites. You did such a fabulous job with this. Why don't you show everybody what it is and how to make it? Yeah, so this one, let me see if I can put it on me without messing up too much. So wow. I made this. My mom has a bunch of hyacinth growing outside. And I'll show you a full stem of hyacinth here. Well, it's actually a little baby half stem, but uh, usually they come a little bit more full, but it is still the beginning of spring. And so they're just popping up in the garden. Um, she has a few plants around here that have been around forever, which is great. All you have to do with this, this is probably the easiest thing and anybody can do it. As long as you have a little piece of wire, you're good to go. I don't know if you guys can see that with all the... Yep, you can see it. Perfect. I see one of my favorite flowers, actually. They smell unbelievable. Delicious. Yeah, love, love, love. So all you do is you just take off the little heads. You just snip them right off. And then you have this little bell-shaped flower, almost like a little skirt, it looks like. Yeah. They look so cute. And again, they hold up phenomenal. I mean, they last a long time. I've even done in the past, I'll take them apart and use them for cake decor, which is amazing. I, I just little designs, a little swirls on a cake, kind of say exactly what's, what you're wearing on your head. You could actually design on a cake, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'll post that photo later, actually. It's one of my favorites. 
Yeah, so I think I took these out of the garden this morning around like around like nine or 10 o'clock and I started um, stringing these together. So these are two different hyacinth plants that we have. One's a little bit darker pink, so you can kind of see that I intertwined them together. Beautiful. Really simple. You take your wire, you make a little hook on the end, so that way you can attach the ribbons to the back. There you go. Where am I? You can see the little ribbons in the back. Yeah. Um, and then all you do, take the end that you do not have the hook onto it, place the wire directly through it and pierce the actual calyx of it. There you go. And then you push it on. And you just keep going. Yeah, it's almost like you're making a garland. Yeah, you're making a handmade garland just using floral blues. And you can do so many things with this. I mean, actually, what Bree's wearing, if you can make out, she made these gorgeous earrings this morning out of high scent that I absolutely love. Uh, they're really beautiful. You can see them hanging on the ear. I think it's the three high scent blooms attached or wired to one of her earrings, and it looks so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, the great thing about this, too, is that you can make it into any shape. If I wanted to make little like a little bracelet or a little ring or whatever you want to do, you really can do it. And I'll show you the earrings now. Yeah, I love this. This was such a great idea. Floral jewelry. Can I beat that? It's definitely attached right now. Yeah, okay. isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so, just a little, uh, so I took an actual earring. I opened it up at the end, a little hook earring. Took the wire and used a little bit more flexible wire just so I could wrap it around really tight. And it was silver, so it matched the actual earring. Um, you can also put, the coolest thing about this is you can add beads to it. You could add gems. You could add any kind of fun, different wire. Or anything good point. To it, or yeah. it on your own. That's actually a really good point, too. I mean, we have so many people watching. I just want to say hi to everybody. We have Raina, Melissa, Tiffany, Ken, of course, my, uh, my sister-in-law, Jen, my brother, Anthony. We got a, an, or so many clients. We got Leona back again, which is amazing. I just want to give a big shout out and say hi to everybody. I hope everyone's doing well and everyone's staying occupied. And I hope you're loving this, but make your own flower jewelry. I want to see what people can make, and I want you to post some photos on Facebook to see what you guys can create. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm going to show another one, another design that we have. Um, this one, you start out the same way as I just started out the hyacinth one that I made. And the easiest thing... About this one this is probably the most technical one just because there's a little bit more involved and it but it is extremely sturdy this is the kind of style that i would make for a bride that's going to be wearing it all night because they're going to be dancing having fun yeah. drinking and this is the one that i would make for myself or veto because we get a little wild sometimes so. <laughs> we do. Oh, I want one. Don't worry. yeah so with this one i took a wire and then i used um some floral tape that we have here you can get always oh, tape anywhere um Almost feels like fabric. It adheres to itself. Super easy to use. Pretty cheap as well. So, oh, it's a um, you can buy it. the tape. It really is. Yeah, you can buy it at one, like half of course. Yep, and it seals itself. I mean, it's so thin. When you stretch it, it actually releases almost like the glue that's on the inside. And when you just tape anything around it, it automatically sticks. That's actually what you use to make boutonnieres, wrist corsages, everything that we're doing now. That's what we would call personal flowers for your wedding or event. Yeah, so I basically start out, um, like Vito said, I, I make little tiny boutonnieres. So I wire and tape them each individually. And I'll show you how to do that. Is you can just take one single piece of wire. I usually cut it down in size rather than a full length one. Correct. And then I peel the flower stem right through the calyx of this little mini carnation. You can kind of see it here, right in the middle. Perfect. And then you bend it down almost like a little hairpin shape to give it that stem. Once you have that stem, you can take your tape and just go right over it. And the greatest thing about these little mini cards, not usually our style, uh, but they were the, the thing that was at the grocery store. I think that's all that's available right now that you can possibly get. Oh, my carnations, ah, but they work for now. It's really easy because, I mean, everything right now is just, you know, very limited flower-wise uh, because we're not shipping anything overseas and are coming up overseas. So you get what we can get, and, cool. you know, it's, Either way, it's still a flower inside the house, and it smells good, so, you know, enjoy. Exactly. And that was one of the big reasons that a lot of our clients um, and clients all over the United States, pretty much everywhere right now with the pandemic, have moved their wedding and events, unfortunately, but it was for the best, thank God, for that. You can actually enjoy it and not have to worry and stress, because I know the stress really takes over when you're planning, let alone something like this happen. So being that a lot of flowers are pretty much stopped at the borders right now, 
the total opens up, a lot of people have moved over from like April, May, June, have picked up and moved to almost some in August, then you have your September, October, November, December, which I think is a really smart decision out there. So don't worry, everything will get back to you all, which will be right here for you. So we're super excited. But once all the product starts coming back in, it's going to explode. We're so excited. Yeah, so um, with this one, so with the carnations, it's really easy to go straight through the calyx. Um, but with a little tiny palm, a little mum like this, they don't really have much of a calyx. And the petals are, they come off a little bit easier. Yeah. So the best way to do it is with a hairpin. So you take that same size wire, do a little hairpin, stick it right through the top of the yeah. mum, push it all the way down, tucked into the middle of the petals. That way you can't see anything. Perfect. And then you take your tape and do the same exact thing. Yes, and the good thing is when you do this, you don't damage the flower either. You know, as long as you're doing it, but it really, you know, for the most part, just goes slow. It doesn't damage the flower, if anything, because it does feed around that, which is nice. And also, I mean, yeah. look out for all the moms and dads out there that have kids right now. These are fun projects you could do at home with your kids as well and keep them occupied. I mean, this would be such a great parts and crafts, you know, little learning lesson for the kids. So always keep that in mind that I think it'll be really nice. Yeah, you don't need to use any knives or scissors. It's nope. just glue. Put some wax paper down and have fun. Got it. Yep, very safe. So what, how I made this one is now that we have all of our individual pieces wired and taped, as you can see throughout here, Perfect. you're going to actually add them to that stem, that pre-existing um, basically backbone structure. So as you go down, you're just going to nestle them right into each other, put some more tape on, and keep going. Yep, there you go. And eventually you're going to make this long garland. Yeah, and you can go as long as you want. You can do any color pattern that you want, which is nice. So you get to be super creative. So you can you want. here and make it a little uh, comb if you wanted. Right. Plug it in with bobby pins. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you a little example of that. Yeah, because once you know how to do operate, you can do anything. I mean, really, that's one of the hardest things for floral design. Once you get the mechanics down, you can make anything, like you said, hair combs, anything. You can make fruit mirrors, anything for your dress, your gown. I mean, it, it goes on. Yeah. So I think this is the one we're going to use for Ronnie. Yeah. I think my definitely needs to be adorned in um, some pink, some light pinks, and some maroon colors today. So he's going to get that. Gorgeous. And then we also have, this is really simple. Um this one was actually made with just wire. There's no glue, there's no tape in here. Um, and I basically make it like we make large scale garlands. And so we have our Pieris here. Perfect. And I cut it up into little pieces like this. And when I have a little piece, we started out just like we started the other one out with a piece of wire coming down, but I actually used spool wire for this because it's a little bit more flexible. Yeah, so it's easier to wrap when you do it with a thicker stem. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, Vito, is I'm just going to wrap it around here and add in every single piece. So I wrap it a few times. It's nice and taut. I'm going to put it down, wrap it around again. And you can see how fast it goes to get that. I don't know if you can hear my dog crying right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, he just wants to wear it. I think that's why. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to enjoy it in just a second. Uh, so one one of my one of our uh, actually one's favorite looks and designs is the floral garland or just a green garland running down a table. So a lot of weddings that we do, uh, it's actually beautiful. We just do a beautiful left runner of foliage or even accent that with floral. Put it down a long table, a sweetheart table, cake table, and then what you could do is you line up all your candles staggering on the length of the table, and that's what I think was for this tablescaping ideas, which is that that's how all those garlands are actually made, which is fantastic. So you can see how tedious they are and how much work they need. So when you think just green, it's always not the most least, actually not the least expensive. It's actually one of one of the more expensive items because of the labor aspect, but it does look really beautiful. All right, so now you can see I finished this off and it is ready for some ribbon or if you just want to use another piece of rope or wire, anything, yeah. um, and you can use it. I'll just put it on top just to show you. Just but keep it's <laughs> Keep them up. <laughs> you can see how easy that is, and I just use that little eyelet, like little hooks here, so they can just yeah. fed right. The last thing I'm going to show you, and then we're going to move on to playing with animals, um, is this tiny little uh, crown that I made out of curly willow. 
Um, we were talking the other day with our team and the, um, Bobby was saying how there's no like male floral crowns or something to wear. And so I think Ken was said that there was, um, you know, the Jesus crown. So yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, look, it goes on. It's so easy. It's all blooming right now. It's so pliable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love it. It's and so I, used, I used one piece of wire, and then all I did was interlock all of the different um, branches that went in there. It's perfect time. I mean, it is Easter soon, so fitting. Yep, you got it. All right. Well, make sure you sign in next week. Uh, make sure next Friday at 1 o'clock Eastern time, we're going to be doing another one uh, of our amazing videos, but we're going to have... Lots of prizes. We're going to involve a lot more people. We're going to do a little design competition uh, for your Easter table. So keep that in mind. Yeah. All right. So where are we going now, Bree? Well, we're actually just coming to the front of the table here. Let me move this down a little bit so we can see my beautiful dog. This is Ripley, everyone. Go to sit. Hey, hey, Ripley. Amazing dog. dog. So let's let him smell the flowers first, obviously. All right. So. He's very used to it because it's happened many times before for him. <laughs> <laughs> so now. I hope all the viewers love all of this and make sure you decorate all your dogs today. They're going to love you. <laughs> I'm going to take this off real quick and show you a little bit in detail. Fantastic. It's loading. There, all right, we, go. there we go. Oh, look how cute. Hey, Ripley! Isn't he a perfect model? Look oh, on. I know, I know. You're so adorable. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, and I'm sure we're going to be taking photos later and posting them on our social media avenues to get some really good stuff of all the animals with the, with the floral appliques. All that right. Adorable. So, let me flip the screen again. You got it. So now we are going to go outside, and I think my dad has my miniature donkey. Is he right over here? Awesome. We're having some technical donkey difficulties here. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, you do a little donkey. Oh my god. <laughs> He's actually a really, really nice donkey. Uh, um, I'm going to hand this over to my mom, and then I'm going to adorn Ronnie with this. So just give us a second. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited about Ronnie the donkey. As you can see on social media, we put a little picture up there as well. To see what it looks like. <laughs> where, where do you want to go? So I wish I was able to live on a beautiful ranch and a farm like this at this time. You keep yourself occupied. There's so many amazing things that you can do. You guys are very lucky. Should <laughs> you have coming? Yeah, he's right here. Uh -huh. Oh, Ronnie! I think he's very interested. Can you smell it? Oh, I love the smell of it. He's going to eat it. Your face this way. Now. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> Stay here. Oh, look at you, little flower crown. See, these little things are going to be love to do. Completely outside the box of ours. This is what we're all about. Absolutely love this. Oh, and I've seen Bryce walk down an aisle. Look how cute. Look at him, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's perfect, Bray. <laughs> See, right. you can wear it so you can feel beautiful, but probably have a snack later on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I want to thank all of our viewers again for always making sure that you log in and check this out because this is just so much fun. Pull a little yeah, ice. We should, have this one. we should have called this one Cover Your Ass in Flowers. Exactly. Cover your ass with flowers. That's the theme of today's live video. Cover your ass with flowers. I love that. All right, guys. Well, it was great showing you around the farm today and introducing you to Ronnie and Ripley. Fantastic. And Bree, thank you so much. You're so amazing. You're such a huge part of our team. We all love you so much. You are so it creative. Was, this was so much fun. This was a lot of fun, as always. And we want to thank you for showing all of our viewers all the different tricks. I hope everybody can implement this at home and really, really have a little bit of fun with you and your family at this time. And I, like I said, please send us your photos. I want to do a little competition and send me what you can make. I don't care what it is. And we'll help you. We can guide you. We're here for that. But I want to see everyone's creativity um, at this time, which is amazing. So we want to say thank you. And I want to just tell everybody to please make sure that 
we log in next week as well. We have an amazing special for Easter, which is going to be very exciting. We have everybody in the company involved. We'll be doing a live stream, which is amazing again. And we're going to have a little design competition for do-it-yourself Easter decor for your home table uh, during your quarantine. So everybody, and also make sure you check out all of our avenues for social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, obviously. Please check out our amazing website, The Galleries Alive, which is amazing. We get to see a little bit about who we are, what we do. You can see our stories, look at all of our reviews, and again, really get to know all of us as a team, as a company. When you read the bios, they're very interesting. Check out Ken Sharples. You want to check out Jill, Bobby, Bree, and myself. All right, guys. Well, make sure you sign in next week and have a happy and healthy isolation. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.